Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got the um uh, yo yo we got the 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 um. What is it? The lawyer, the lawyer of uh, takeoffs, uh, murder suspect. You know what I'm saying? Who, who's speaking on 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 who paid his, his bond? We're gonna talk about that, all right? We got uh, Waka Flocka speaking on takeoffs death as well, man. Um, an update on Demar Hamlin, man. What's going down with that? We also got um uh, the pastor that want to fight Uncle Murder, man, and um Aaliyah's family and 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 shenanigans. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is the first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. Hey, yo, that notification bells waiting for your taps so going to give it a tap and the subscribe buttons waiting for your subscription man so going to touch that too all right hey yo check this out man look, 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 look. i gotta get this to you fast man it's kind of late man i'm sending this to the source late man you know we started back at work so we off we off target Check this out, man. I'm going to give you this piece of information. And now I'm going to scour the comment section of this video. Yo, know, they're waiting for the intelligentsia to tell me if I'm understanding this correctly. Because I am well aware of the fact, right, that I might have an incorrect interpretation of how this next story is, okay? Now, now, this is in reference to R. Kelly and Aaliyah, right? R. Kelly secretly married Aaliyah when she was 15 years old, right? But Pa Dukes signed an NDA, right, non-disclosure agreement, at around the time that Kelly and Aaliyah's marriage was annulled. <laughs> now, signing that NDA prevented him from pursuing charges against Kelly. Are we feeling like a problem yet? You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let me get to you. In exchange for signing the NDA, that's right, I said in exchange for signing the NDA, the family was sold the rights to R. Kelly's first three albums. What's that mean? Please post it in the comments what that mean. Because maybe I'm slow. You know what I'm saying? Because what I got from that was, like, <laughs> like, we won't say anything if you sell us the rights to your first three albums. It's, you see how your weird proclivities can entangle you in your own web, man? You know what I'm saying? Now, this came from Kelly's former bodyguard, Mr. Pratt, right? Now, it's also been reported that the NDA did not only involve violations of a sexual nature, but also of a physical nature. Now, <laughs> look, how many monsters are in this story here? that I'm covering. Please write it in the comments below how many damn monsters we done dealt with here in this story, man. Look, it sounds like the problem, right? Could have been nipped in the bud a long time ago if you catch my drift. Like, when money is involved, fueled by insatiable greed, man. Like, folks are like, ah, you know what I'm saying? What's one kid? You know what I mean? Look, look, it's one thing if folks showed up at the door like, we will body everyone in this house if you talk. You look, you know he got the paper to make you disappear, but but to be like, oh, you know what? This might could disappear for the price of three albums. Ain't that disgusting, man? <laughs> no, that, that ain't disgusting? Oh, you need something a bit more disgusting. Well, well, buckle up for this next one, all right? Because according to a recent report, it has been discovered that the man that believes he could fly forced his victims. <laughs> wait, wait, am I reading this right? Oh, oh no, not not that. No, 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 no. I don't know about this one right here, but um, I'm gonna need you to take a, a listen to this insanity, and then we're gonna catch you right back after this because I'm about to go throw up real quick. Okay, take a listen. Asriel, she was on the tour bus. They were in the back room, and I heard him um hitting her, spanking as he calls it. There was another incident where Robert made um. One of the girls, or a couple of the girls, eat his feces. That was more of a loyalty type of ritual when they um, had to eat the feces. Now that is absurd. Y'all could miss me with that ish. <laughs> Literally, right? Like, honestly, I don't know if I believe that. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible. You know what I mean? But at this point, they could say this man did anything. You know what I mean? They could be like, oh, there was even a, a pussycat on the tour bus. And oh, the, the pussycat, like, not the cat. He done tore up the cat. Like, I'm not buying it. Like, 
we like we saw what like we saw now we ain't see but we know that there was video of what he's done you know what i'm saying but there wasn't no video of that for all i know right that man could have been like yeah yeah eat that ish eat that ish that don't necessarily mean like literally i don't think it meant literally you know what i mean he might have like <laughs> how can i say this you like celeb why don't you just not say it at all yeah yeah I, I probably should be like it all depends on how many people were in the in the in the room maybe you know what i mean like let's say if there's two if there's two women in the like how like let me can i maybe look the pastor let me talk about the pastor you know what i mean because i feel dirty just talking about it so it, it, it's so dirty it's so dirty i feel dirty talking about it listen listen where we at over here where we at over here Bishop Lamore Whitehead, all right? There's the man that's, um, he was, I think he was arrested on some charges that he might have potentially, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like he might have potentially fleeced the flock. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, the, pa the, the pastor that's constantly wearing Fendi bags, there was the video of him shaking up the lady and, and, and then ushering her out the church. We know the man be laying hands on people, something serious, on, on some, on some, uh, what's his name, Benny Hinn type energy. You know what I'm saying? Now Bishop Whitehead is calling out Uncle Murder after he stated that his feelings were hurt, and he and he and he did a video uh, because remember Uncle Murder did the rap, the yearly wrap up. Hopefully you heard Uncle Murder's yearly wrap up. In his yearly wrap up, he addressed um, Bishop Whitehead, and Bishop Whitehead had this to say: Take a listen. Given these huge political awards to all of the rappers and the psalmists of you know r&b or whomever radio stations and i'm the one who brought hip-hop into the culture of politics and i was the one that um you know bring the hip-hop into the church you know because i you know i support i support it i support hip-hop i support it so you know i just posted a video of uncle murder um in the pulpit with me, you know, talking good about me, you know, talking good about me, you know, so, um, and let me just say this, y'all, you know, me and Uncle Murder ain't got no beef, and me and 50 ain't got no beef, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's all love, you know, they rap, they do what they gotta do, it is what it is, however, when I listened to the, to the rap of, I said, dang, man, I said, dang, Uncle, I said, Uncle Murder, man, I ain't really like that, so let's have some fun, you know, so I invited him, you know, let's 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 do let's 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 get in the ring, man. Let's get in the ring. You know, hold on, let me block this dude. Let me block this dude. You know, so you know, I I said I said that you was rough on the bishop, man. You was rough on the bishop. So you know, you know, from where I'm from, from where I'm from, I'm from Brooklyn, and if you're friends with somebody, if you're friends with somebody, you know, and Y'all have a little disagreement. Y'all put on the boxing gloves, right? You put on the boxing gloves, you know? You know, it ain't no, oh, you got beef, I got beef. Nah, I love Uncle Murder, man. He, he's always been cool. I just don't like the wrap up. I just don't like what he said. So I said to myself, you know what? You know, let's let's get in the ring, man. Let's get in the ring. Let's get in the ring. I, 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 I ain't like that wrap up, man. I ain't like what you said about me, man. And tag 50, man. Y'all tag Uncle Murder tag 50. Now, I just posted a video, right? Um, I always, you guys know, I'm I'm always in the community. Always, you know, trying to help out my brothers and sisters in the community. And I've created a um, an event in my church that I've been doing for the last, this would be nine years this year and it's called the church honest hip-hop right it's called the church honest hip-hop and um and what i do is i merge the gap between the church politics and the streets right and the hip-hop world so what i did was i'm the one that started you know now the man said, I'm from Brooklyn. We do things differently. Right? Like, oh, you don't talk? Y'all don't talk in Brooklyn? We don't talk in Brooklyn? I'm from I'm from Brooklyn. We do things differently. How big how differently, Bishop? I really don't like what you said. 
It hurt my feelings. I thought we were brothers, Uncle Murder. <laughs> look, 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 look. Uh, Uncle Murder, Uncle Uncle Murder really like really left the pastor distraught. You know what I'm saying? Uh, saying that he's stealing money from his members. So the bishop is like, yo, man, let's get some gloves on and let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Asking 50 cent the front of the bag for the fight. You know what I mean? He goes, we Christian, not punks or sissies. We stand 10 toes down here. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says clearly that I'm anointed to lay hands. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yo, we can't make this stuff up, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't life better than books? It's sad, right? Like, you, I know, I know you. Some of y'all like to read, but this stuff is clearly better than reading, man. All right, look, look. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. You know what I mean? You know, like Christians ain't punks, man. You know what I'm saying? We be like, like Christians be taking all kinds of slander and they be talking crazy about us and the whole nine yards front and like we suckers and stuff like that. But people don't understand church. Like, listen, man, church is like a hospital. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a bunch of people that understand that they are spiritually sick and they need to be healed. And, and they're sick in all kinds of other ways, mentally sick, emotionally sick. So we go to the place where we think we can get healed. These are a bunch of people that are acknowledging the fact that they are sick. So they are not perfect. They're broken. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what church people are, man. We're a bunch of broken people that are running to God like, yo, help, help. Like we coming to the creator of the universe to get some assistance because we broken. You know what I mean? Um, uh, where we at over here, man? Do I got to do it? All right, all right, check this out, man. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let me do my shout outs real quick because what's my time looking like? Yeah, eight. All right. Uh, shout out to Marcus H. My man said, I swear you one of the only channels I log on YouTube for, man. I can't lie. I usually fast forward through the shout outs because I'm impatient, but I love the way you cover all this. Sh I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Um, Look, maybe you won't get this because you fast forwarded through it. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what you get. You get what you deserve. You ain't supposed to fast forward through no shout outs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, la, 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 la. Showtime. Showtime. Showtime came through, gave us a hard time yesterday about Skip Bayless. Was it a hard time? I don't know if it was. It wasn't quite a hard time. Showtime came through and said, yo, a lot of people went off on Skip Bayless. I would argue that the mass majority of social media are incompetent. An intelligent word for being stupid. What everyone is scolding him for is exactly what he said. And he said, which suddenly seems irrelevant. I had to answer Showtime with this one. Uh, and I, I'm trying to explain to Showtime that he might have missed a point about what Skip Bayless was really trying to say. Skip Bayless was saying like, yo, the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game. But how? <laughs> uh, like... Here's the thing that I, that I wanted to try to express to um, Showtime. You know what I'm saying? Skip Bayless's question is not really how. You know what I'm saying? Like, Skip Bayless has seen games postponed before. He knows that it could happen. He's really asking the question, why? <laughs> You're like, yo, if, if he meant why, he could have just said why. Look, we never said Skip Bayless was a grammarian. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Mr. Bayless skipped class or why would they postpone it this late in the season how or why would they delay the game of this magnitude how or why would they postpone a game this crucial to the season outcome skip you know damn well how and why they would postpone the rest of the game there's a man laying right there on the floor skip suffering from two cardiac arrests skip what are you a flat earther what, you think Kanye is misunderstood and R. Kelly should be hired to babysit a 12-year-old man? Huh? Like, Skip, Tori ain't bust that pistol? Skip. You smoke crack? Skip. Don't you know what messes up your brain? Skip. It messes up your brain. Look, look, look. Just because someone is a commentator that you happen to like, that doesn't mean he can't tweet out some bullish. You see what I'm saying, man? No one, including you and I, are exempt from being on some bullish showtime. You see what I'm saying? From time to time. Now, um, <laughs> uh, Bill, uh, jo um, I'm back to the stories. Joe Biden, right? This man, um, uh, I guess he had something to say about whether the NFL is too violent considering what happened with, you know what I'm saying, Jamal Hamlin, right? So, Mr. Biden, all right, my recording cut off right there. Mr. Biden essentially shuffled to the podium because you know he probably they probably woke him up out of bed mr Bi biden mr biden Pre president biden what have you got to say about uh you know what i'm saying with the, the whole thing with with um the N nfl and is it too violent mr president biden says 
that he don't think the NFL is too violent. What did, what did he say? I had it was so perfect what he said. Let me, hold on, hold, let, let me see if I can pull it up without this thing cutting off. Ah, I right, hear we are. Uh, President Biden says um, he spoke at length with the mom uh, and dad of Demar Hamlin, which is which is big for him to do. That's pretty huge. And honestly, like he didn't treat it as irrelevant. You know what I mean? Like like because that's essentially what Skip was trying to say. Um, let's just keep it a buck. If if you understand English and and what he was doing, you know what I mean? Like the context of all of his previous statements, he was essentially saying like, why are we treating this game like it's irrelevant? Is very important to the season. We're telling you why, Skip. Anyway. Uh, President Biden said, um, uh, look, the, the idea that you're going to have, uh, look, you got guys that is, when it comes down to whether it's violent or not, he said, you got guys that are 6'8", 340 pounds running a, a 4.8, uh, if you hit somebody with that kind of, now, that, that's not what happened here, but I, I just think it's, I don't know how you avoid it. Close quote. Uh, President Biden uh, go back to bed. Like, yeah, we we appreciate what you've done, and you've done a great job. And I, we love you, and we thank you for um, being our president now. Considering what we were faced with, you, uh, sir, uh, pre president, Mr. President, I think you're good to go back to bed. <laughs> yes, eh? Uh, and finally, oh, 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 oh. So let me let me bring it back concerning Demar Hamlin. Let me give you an update on um how he is doing, and um. Now, unfortunately, he is uh, considered still to be uh, critically ill, right? But they're saying that he's making steady progress. He's made, um, they're saying he's made remarkable improvement over the past 24 hours, which, which means, you're, you know, prayers are working, man. Prayers are working for this man. And they're saying that um, he appears to be neurologically intact. Close quote, right? Neurologically intact. Now, that is a super important statement to say because when um, a person's heart stops, the, the major, major concern is whether the brain is continuing to receive oxygen. When your brain is deprived of oxygen, this is now where, where brain damage is, is introduced into the um, story. But as of now, doctors are not believing this to be the case with um, DeMar Hamlet. Now, his lungs, uh, they were damaged, but it's also being stated that um, his lungs are pretty much healing. So um, continue to throw up prayers for DeMar Hamlin, man, and every other NFL player, man, because uh, let's consider what these NFL players are doing. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a, like a, when we talk about like a basketball is a contact sport, you know what I mean? Like, and that could be dangerous in and of itself, man. We done seen people's legs get broken and stuff like that. Hey, I'm not just talking about off an of ill crossover neither. You know what I mean? But like football is like, like contact, contact, like crazy, crazy contact. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these dudes is like, what Joe Biden said was right, man. You know what I mean? These, these dudes, 340 pounds smacking into you, man. It'd feel like a damn truck. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll be finished. You know what I mean? Uh, and finally. All right. So Waka Flocka has uh, provided his input on um, Takeoff's death. And he has some strong words uh, concerning Takeoff. Um, and, and really, he has, he has some really strong words. I want you to take a listen to what he had to say. I never want to speak on nobody's death, but I could tell you this. When God bless you, right? Mm -hmm. You have to change your ways. You have to evolve. You have to. That's all I can say. Right. Uh, I... I could just say wrong place, wrong time for these guys. They were, you know, they were like, what he said, what he said was, um, uh, you know, super important, man. And um, uh, let me, let me take, let me take source here right now. Uh, say audio incoming. Audio is incoming source. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, what was I saying? Because I, I, I don't, I don't, I can't multitask very well. Women are good at that. Men, not so much. But, um, yeah, yeah. What, well, I think what Waka Flocka said, you know, I think it's largely on point, man. You do have to move differently when you, when you're making certain, pay, like certain, Honestly, man, every every stage in life requires that you move differently. You cannot continue to move. And this is just now I'm off of takeoff right now. I'm just saying that, you know, in any area of life, especially if you're making more and more money, you need to be moving differently. This is what we um, and, and honestly, like the result of not doing that, we're seeing that with a lot of the artists that get locked up. They get locked up on Rico charges and insanity like that. These people think like they could still move the same way when clearly they can't. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that just should go without saying. I'm surprised ain't nobody telling a lot of these artists that. And um, this is what makes so many people believe that, like, labels got insurance policies and all kinds of crazy stuff on these artists. Because you're supposed to tell your artists, like, if you're putting a lot of money in them and expecting them to be here for the long haul, then you should be telling them to move differently. If, if if you're an artist listening to this and your label and whatnot is not telling you to move differently and to, you, know, you can't do such and such the same way, then... You know what I'm saying? Like, then, then I mean, they're, they're probably planning on making a profit off of you. You know what I'm saying? And not in a good way. Now, um, I don't know if you heard, but the murder suspect of um, Takeoff, uh, Patrick Xavier Clark, he is charged with, you know, he's been charged with murdering Takeoff. He is now out of jail after posting a million dollar bond. But the big question is, who paid he was held on a two million um dollar bond but they lowered his bail they um uh they they released him but the big question is well who the hell paid his bond you know what i mean now um here, here is the answer that's been stated they say quote neither patrick nor his family i think this is from his who said this is his lawyer i think his lawyer might have said this neither patrick nor his family posted the bond in this case a concerned citizen and family friend who believes in Patrick's innocence posted the bond on his behalf. This is coming from uh, Letitia Quinones. She said, like any other defendant, Patrick is presumed innocent and has the right to bond. He also has an obligation to comply with all the terms the court has laid out. He intends to comply fully and will appear to, uh, for proceedings whenever the court requires him to do so. We believe Patrick is innocent and at the appropriate time, the evidence will reveal that to be the case. Close quote. There you have it. The man posted a bond and it was a very close family friend, whatever that means. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Is that a translation for um, who you think it really to be? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, come on. Like, what this person said, I think I think a lot of people are looking at a certain, like, you know, group of people to have paid the bond. And maybe if the lawyer said, look, we just gonna keep it a buck. It was not who you think it was. It wasn't a family of rich, like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that family. It wasn't the people that were there that, you know what I'm saying, that paid the bond. If they said that, then at least you could walk away saying, well, the lawyer said it wasn't them. You know what I mean? But they didn't say that. And who knows why they didn't say that? Maybe they didn't say that because they don't want it to come out that that was the group. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, if I was that group and I didn't want anybody to, I would have had them say it. Well, let me not say it like that. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. And hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source, Celeb News.